to Spokane, Washington, where we find the five seat is San Diego State. It's Election Sunday, and we now know where the Aztecs are going to be playing, and we were there as their name was called. So what's next for the team as they look to make another deep run in the NCAA tournament? We are going to break it all down for you. Good evening, and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Steve Price. And I'm Kirsten Holmes. Despite losing in the Mountain West Championship game yesterday, we knew the Aztecs would get a bid, yes. but... How far would they fall and who will they play tonight? We have the answers. We began our coverage with CBS 8's Jasmine Ramirez outside the Fowler Athletic Center on campus where the team gathered to hear this afternoon's big announcement. Jasmine. Well, I mean, definitely a lot of excitement here today and really high energy in the room when the Aztecs learn that they'll be headed to Spokane. Now just take a listen. that they're the fifth seed and will be taking on UAB this Friday. Now their coach says UAB is a solid team and well coached. He says it's a strong bracket and will be a challenge. Now having a Friday start gives the Aztecs more prep time and time to come up with a game plan. Today the players said every year it's a dream to get to play in March Madness. If the Aztecs win their first game on Friday, they will get the chance to play either number four Auburn or number 13 Yale in Spokane on Sunday. If you're going to be in the East Regional, what better place to start than as far west as you can go? So we'll make the other teams travel at least in the first round, and hopefully we can have some success up in Spokane and, and play into uh, future rounds, but we'll have our hands full in Spokane. We all know that. And the coach says the Aztecs will be leaving for Spokane on Wednesday, and of course they do expect a lot of support from the community and some fans to go up there and travel to watch them play. Kirsten, Steve. Uh, fans will travel indeed. Okay, so UAB just earned their way into the tournament today by knocking off Temple University in the American Athletic Conference championship game. Okay, so how good are the Blazers? And more importantly, <laughs> can we beat them? Marcus uh, is going to join us now. Hopefully you say yes. Yeah, of course. I mean, <laughs> what else do you want me to say, right? No, yes. you know it's going to be fun. This is what this is what it's all about. And like you guys said, even though the Essex lost yesterday, we know they were going to get in. We just want to see where, who. But the nice thing is, last year they were a five seed. This year they're a five seed. There you so, go. You know what results were last year? A trip to the national championship. I'll take that. Yeah, well, let the fun begin, everyone. The Essex later the fifth seed in this year's NCAA tournament. Like you just heard, they'll be taking on the 12th seeded UAB Blazers from the American Conference. And make no mistake about their seating folks the Blazers are as talented as the Aztecs have played all season long UAB actually played in the AAC conference tournament today like you heard Steve say defeating Temple 85 69 extending their current win streak to now five games and after watching them play today I can tell you all this these guys are quick they're athletic they're tough as nails defensively. They're going to present a ton of problems for the Aztecs. They average about 77 points a game and are led by junior forward Yexel Lenderborg, who drops about 14 points a game. And he's probably more than likely to go toe to toe with Aztec star Jaden Ledee. They're both big and they're both physical, so that will likely be a key matchup in this game. Tip off is Friday in Spokane, Washington. No time has been announced just yet, but CBS H Jake Gariani will be out in Spokane to bring you live coverage leading up to the game. Again, an interesting squad. They're fun. They're athletic. They had a whole lot of great dunks, but at the end of the day, it's who's playing hot, who's playing not. So we will see. Aztecs, hopefully they can bounce back after a little tough performance against New Mexico. But I think they did fine. look good today. Yeah. Okay. The optimist in me is saying Temple was exhausted oh, yeah. from having to play so many games in a row. So yeah. maybe UAB isn't that good. Yeah. And we've had a little more rest. Keep the, the, the one fingers question, fingers I, the one question sure. I'm going to ask is why are we wearing green? Well, hello, St. Patrick's Day. Let's go. Are, Where are you? you I was saying green? it more about UAB, but now I'm looking like I don't know what. <laughs> I was like, is that not green? That's a little this green. This is the wrong time to wear green, uh, y'all, but I, I understand. Next right. time we need to wear red. It's going to work out in our favor. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>